So guys, you know us, we're out here fishing, covering a lot of lakes. We happened to come to a lake that decided to try to spear, because we're trying to get a spear episode for you guys. And we're looking at the hole and we're talking about it. And Thor brings up, you know, one of the biggest questions that we get to fish addictions is how well the Eskimo suits float. You know, I haven't seen a video that shows that or else I'd just point you to that instead of doing what I'm about to do. Because we believe in Eskimo, because we believe in their product and everything like that, and I'm sure it's gonna be just fine other than getting cold in the water, I'm gonna jump in. So we made our spear hole bigger, which you can see right here. Uh, we've been spearing today with not much luck, but we thought, let's uh, let's show these guys what the Eskimo suit can do. Now this is the, the rough neck suit in a size extra large, uh, just for reference, I'm 200-ish, 40-ish pounds. Uh, plus or minus depending on how much I ate that day. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you about my experience when I get out too. Like I, I've never fallen through the ice. So this will be new for me. So get in and do it. I'm debating whether I'm gonna jump in or not. I'm just gonna get in and just do it. Right away, I'm floating. Actually, this is not that bad. I'm floating pretty good here. Uh, we're in 10 feet of water, so, whoo, this is good practice if I ever fall through. <laughs> it's cold, no doubt, but not nearly as bad as a person would think. So basically, As you can see, the float, the suit definitely floats. So, wasn't really that bad. I really hyped myself up for it because who knows? You know, you go through, you never know what to expect. Wow, it floats, it floats really well. 240 pounds, I got in. No, never got wet past here. This is an extra large suit. I've always been sold on float suits, but you definitely sell yourself even more once you realize that they float. They definitely 100% float. Like I said, we're in almost, well, 10.6 feet of water on the on the live scope right here and that's two feet the ice is almost two feet thick it wasn't that bad like i felt really safe i felt really comfortable actually when you got in the ice and you float there like it felt like you had a life jacket on all the way through so i was pretty pretty impressed by that in fact a lot better than i even expected so bravo to, to you guys and to you guys that wondered if this suit floats there you go 240 pounds floating in the ice all right guys as somebody who has done the float suit test before there's some important things that we need to let you know about how we're doing this. This is a controlled environment. We're making sure that, you know, if something goes wrong, we have the ability to, to urgently rescue. And because falling through the ice is truly a dangerous thing. And we do not recommend testing your float suits in this manner. A much more enjoyable way to test your float suit is to go and jump off your dock in the middle of the summer. Um, again, this is done in a controlled environment, as, as controlled as we can get, and we're making sure that we have all of our safety measures covered, you know, rescue ropes, picks, all that kind of stuff. Try not to fall through the ice, but if you're going to, make sure you're wearing a float suit.